Yo, what's good with it, y'all? Y'all already know what time it is, baby. NBA Quick Hits Volume 24. Let's get to it. What's good with it, y'all? What's good with it? Welcome back to A1 Hoop Zone. Back at y'all with another one. NBA Quick Hits Prediction Video, Volume 24. We got 11 games today, so we're covering the first six on this joint. Then we're going to roll out Volume 25, so y'all be on the lookout for that. But before we get into that, man, make sure you hit that like button. Sell to the channel if you're new. Let's go ahead and dive into it, man. Let's get to these predictions. So <clears throat> first game up, man, we got the Magic versus the Cavs. Good matchup in the East between two teams, uh, obviously two young teams. Hell, a lot of people, I would say, are definitely surprised at the, at the fact that the at the fact that the standings for the uh, for the for the for the Magic. I mean, who, who would have thought Our, Orlando would be fourteen and six? You know what I mean? Uh, Cleveland is eleven and nine. Both teams above five hundred, but I think Orlando is more of that surprise team in, in that perspective. You know what I mean? Um, definitely well coached, young, good core. It's hard to it, I say it's hard it's hard to see a lot of teams beating this team when they're on just because again the, the the size the talent the youth everything they have man this this team is definitely one of those teams to be on the lookout for the up and coming the Cavs however obviously you know they got some veterans on that team Donovan Mitchell um, Darius, Gar Darius Garland All Star point guard um, Allen good rim protector Karis LeVert. So they got some players in the squad man it's just a matter of again they've been dealing with the injury bugs so I think that's kind of why we see their record being the way it is now on the same time of things, man. But the East is, uh, they, they, you know, they're back from an essence of they got some, they got some quality teams over there, you know, any given night, any of these teams can beat each other. But also on the fact that, you know, Boston, Milwaukee, um, Orlando, Philly, the Knicks, Indiana, the Heat. I mean, they, they got some teams over there. That's like, it's, it's the starts of the Eastern conference. You know, it's nothing to sneeze at. Definitely not the same as it used to be. Uh, so Cleveland got their, their work cut out for them. They got to get focused and they got to get to it. They're not getting any younger. And, um, you know, that's what we want to see. But for the prediction side of this, and not to ramble off on y'all too much, man, <clears throat> I'm going to rock out. I'm going to rock out the magic going with the upset against the Cavs uh, for tonight, man. Would I be surprised if the Cavs won? Absolutely not. Uh, they're hard to deal with at home, but I think this Orlando Magic team matches up with them well. And uh, I think we're going to see a hell of a game. But I got the magic winning that one. Next one up, man, 76ers versus the Wizards. Um, no slighter disrespect to the Wizards. I had I had Philly winning this one. It's either gonna be a blowout, or you know Philly's gonna make it a close game, make it harder than they need to be, and it's gonna end up you know uh, Philly's gonna win one one way or another. But I have been winning by a blowout. Um, I just don't feel this Wizards team uh, for some odd reason they're trending backwards instead of the progressing the right way. They're three and sixteen. Talent on that team definitely should you 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 should they should be at least either a few games under five hundred or, or at five hundred at least. And for some reason, or well, obviously, well, 13 games below 500 is unacceptable. So I got I got the um, <clears throat> 76 is winning that one, man. Next game up, Grizzlies versus the Pistons. Another tough game, man. Tough situation to deal with here. Um, Grizzlies, again, they're, they're waiting for the all-star point guard to come back, man. Once, obviously, Jai's back, this team's going to be a whole different beast. But for now, man, you know, they got to do what they got to do to maintain and, and try to stay afloat or, or stay as close as they possibly can to 500. Um, I mean, they're nine games under right now, so it's not out of realm or not out of reach for them to go on a, a on a on a spurt and get themselves back at 500 and above it. They just need y'all to get back and, and 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 show his way. So you know they're getting they need their leader back again. They're playing against a team. The Pistons got the worst you know worst record in the league at two and 18. So um, it's definitely a winnable game for them uh, for the Grizzlies. But this Pistons team is no slouch, man. Um, you know, Kate Cunningham is the real deal. He's just again they just. Have some, some some tough losses that they're dealing with there. But who do I have winning this one? I'm going to rock out the Pistons, man. I think Kay cutting out of them boys is going to show up and show up big. I guess it's Grizzlies team. Well, would I be surprised if Grizzlies won? Absolutely not. I mean, they got a, they got a nice squad. They've had some tough losses. It's just, again, you know, it's a veteran group, and they're, they're missing an all-star point guard. But I think the Pistons at home uh, should be able to squeak this one out. Next one after that, man, we got the Spurs versus the Wolves. Um, Spurs are, are they're, you know, they <laughs> – they're, they, I, I guess I can easily say they, they, they got, you know, second worst record in the league, you know, they're three and 16, um, definitely unacceptable. Wimby, you know, two of their wins came against the Suns, which a lot of teams, it, it surprised a hell out of people. And then after that, man, it just, you know, a losing streak happened and they just keep losing, 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 and losing. It's like, man, what is, 
I mean, he's going on like a, a, a thing about 13, 14 game losing streak. That's, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say about that. Team is too talented for them to be losing like that. And they're playing against a team in the Wolves where the Wolves is trending. You know, they got the number one record in the West. They're 15 and four. You know what I mean? So it's like you're playing against a team that that's definitely playing some great basketball as of right now. And they're on like, a, uh, I think I want to say a three or four game win streak. So it's like they have to get they have to get this in gear. The Spurs got to kick it in gear and, and get themselves back to where they were and playing that type of that brand of basketball that got them those two wins against against the Suns. But for this prediction on this one, man, who do I have winning it? I got the Wolves winning this one, man. Next one on after that, uh, Nets versus the Hawks. Again, a matchup in the East. We could be seeing Hawks sitting at nine and ten, um, Brooklyn Nets sitting at ten and nine. So you know, again. Yeah, it's one of those matchups where both teams are kind of underperforming, obviously, where they want to be. But uh, right now, uh, Nets are sitting at the 9 seed, Hawks are at the 10 seed, so it's like in the East. So it's like, you know, when they if, if that happens, it's pretty much going to flop each other. They'll have a tie a tie record of being, um, you know, 10-10 if, if the Hawks win. You know what I mean? The Hawks are going to be 10-10. Obviously, if the Hawks lose, it improves the Nets to 11-9, and and the Hawks drops to 9-11. and So, uh, Hawks definitely need this win, man. Uh, on the road, definitely want to try and stay ahead. So I'm rocking out, or not on the road, they're playing at home. I'm rocking out the Hawks to win this one, man. I think they're going to show up and show out. Uh, again, all these games matter. So um, definitely now that we're training, hitting the halfway point or halfway mark for the the NBA season, uh, we're halfway, halfway to the halfway mark, I should say, a quarter of the way there. So they got to start trending in the right direction and putting some wins together to get themselves positioned to be able to make some type of run and getting a good playoff seeding. And not having to play, you know what I'm saying, extra games that they don't have to. You know what I mean? And then last game tonight for this for this particular volume 24, man, we got the Heat versus the Raptors. Uh Raptors at 9-11. <clears throat> Miami Heat sitting at 11 and 9. So again, it's one of those situations, man. Um this Raptors team, not sure exactly what's going on, but again, way too talented to have that type of record. Uh they they I feel like this is a stout team. They're built to be able to kind of play against each and every team because they have the size, the athleticism, the length. All of those things are are, are, are definitely uh, tipped in their favor as far as when they match up against the team. It's just for some reason they're having shortcomings, and I don't know exactly what it is. On the Heat, on the heat side of things, man, uh, you know, obviously we got Emo, Emo Jimmy out there doing his thing, man, Bam out of bio, Tyler Hero. They're playing some good basketball, and they're, and they're getting some good wins, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so, who do I have winning this Heat versus? <clears throat> excuse me, Heat versus the Raptors. I'm gonna rock out to my. I'm gonna go with the Raptors. No, actually, you know what? Scratch it. I'm gonna go with the Heat, man. First, gotta say Heat. I'm gonna go with the Heat on that. Would I be surprised the Raptors won? No, they're extremely tough to play at home, and um, they they've knocked off some teams at home that they weren't supposed to beat. So again, it's all a matter if they show up and and stay consistent and stay focused, man. But as a quick uh, quick recap before I get up out of here, man, I'm going to go ahead and recap these picks to y'all, and then we're going to get up out of here. I got the Magic beating the Cavs. I got the Sixers beating the Wizards. Pistons beating the Grizzlies. Wolves beating the Spurs. Hawks beating the Nets. And the Heat beating the Raptors, man. But that's all I got for you. I appreciate you stopping through. Make sure you hit that like button. Sub to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment in the comment section. I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of y'all. Let me know what you think. Who do you have winning some games? What predictions you have? We can go head to head with predictions and see how we pan out. Um, other than that, man, again, I appreciate y'all sliding through and supporting the channel, and I'll be back with y'all another one. Keep an eye out for that volume 25 that'll be dropping soon as well, man. Y'all be easy.